they got to rebuild all their fence. They got to find their livestock. They got to get their livestock on feed. Some of the livestock's really, really badly hurt. And the humane thing to do there is to put them out of their misery. But then what do you do about their calves? Uh, uh, it's just devastation for these people. It, uh, uh, you know, stuff they built, improvements, fences, whatever, you know, it's almost, in some instances, it's almost easier to build new fence than it is to rebuild burnt fence. You got enough steel posts, you'll be all right. But in some of this fence, the, the bottom wire probably got toasted. You won't be able to stretch it. It's pretty, it's pretty tough shape, some of it. But, uh, you know, the, the loss of feed uh, and, and the agencies uh, are going to tell them they might have to stay off of this. They might have to stay off of this piece of real estate. Well, it'll be three years, three, three, three years. growing seasons. Three. I think it's two. You know, so if it just go, if they just go two years, then 16, maybe two years from right now, I can come back in. Fall of with some fall. Fall of eighteen. You know, but I'm I'm just figuring it'll be uh, the spring of nineteen before they're not doing anything. And then, then you got to make sure that the fuel doesn't get so high between then and there that it burns again. <coughs> Excuse me. I guess I'm allergic to ash. Can't be anything else. There's nothing else for me to be allergic yeah. to out here other than ash. But uh, is there anything the state can do to help these folks out? Well, uh, well, uh, well. Uh, agriculture's. Uh, I I saw that they'd done something, and I've been traveling. I didn't see all of it. Uh, NRCS, the uh, Farm Service Agency, they'll help them uh, with the uh, uh, a lot of fence, um, uh, replacing their fence, some of the other improvements. Uh, they're there. Uh, you know, we want to help them. We'll try and help them find pasture. You know, we'll uh, and and I assume the Cattle Association. Uh, I think I saw that Wyatt had done something. You know, anybody that's got any feed available at all uh, is to make that. Uh, we will, the state will try and serve as a, as a uh, central location. We've had to do that on some of the other big fires. Uh, I think proactively going forward, uh, what Ed and I was talking about was that we got to have these rural fire protection uh, uh, folks, the ranchers that live here, we got to we got to give them more resources. And another thing that they've started doing is we got to put in some bigger fire breaks, so that when these big catastrophic fires start blowing through the country, we've got a point to where we can hook onto, put in a fire line, maybe put a backfire, because these are huge dampeners of wildlife habitat and and these communities and families. And, uh, but when the weather's such, sometimes, you know, it's that, but the best thing you can do is have people get there as soon as possible. And, uh, but sometimes big fires happen.